What is up guys, my name is K9 and welcome to my Q&A! Right, I've got quite a few questions so I thought I'd um, finally do one like Q&A because I really want to do it anyway. Also, I'm only using my phone mic and my phone camera. Speaking of cameras, I, I've sent, I'm sending my camera back because I tested it against my phone camera and the camera on the camera that I bought is like worse quality than my phone so I'm like, wait a sec. I'm sending that back. I need a refund. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to use my phone mic and stuff like that, so, because I can't be bothered getting all the stuff. Yeah. So let's get started. Not sure if you'll include. Of course I will. Why did you propose to your girlfriend and what happened on the day you did it? Yeah, so a lot of you guys probably won't know, but I'm actually engaged and, um, a lot of people have kind of have been against it. Some people have been for it, which I'm really happy, and I've got a load of friends that are actually for it, so thanks a lot. Um, so yeah, why did you propose? Well, the same reason everyone else does. I mean, I want to stay with her forever, to be honest. I mean, this is probably going to be quite soppy, so just, if you don't like it, then zoom on. Anyway, but yeah, I want to stay with her forever. I really do love her. I mean, most people are just like, oh, I love you. Just don't actually mean it, but I actually really mean it, and I know she loves me back, obviously, otherwise she wouldn't have said yes. So, um, yeah, I want to be with her forever, that's why I proposed. And what happened on the day I did it? Well, we have this, um, place just above where I live, it's like, um, up in the hills, up in the moors, and you can see kind of over the whole town where I live and everything, it's, it's really nice, especially when it's sunny, when it's raining, it's kind of a bit... <sighs> But when it's sunny, it's really nice. Luckily, it was sunny on the day, did it? So, um, but yeah, that's like mine and Charlotte's place. We we went up there once ages ago, and we really liked it up there. And we thought this is this is gonna be our place. So I took it back up there again and did it there. And um, special as anything, I mean, it's our place. I mean, it's the best moment ever, to be honest. If you were to change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Well, this would be quite interesting. Um, I'd probably change my height actually, because I'm only five foot eight. I don't know, probably five foot eight. I think I'm five foot eight, or even maybe a little bit smaller or something. Anyway, but I'd probably want to be taller, maybe five eleven to six foot or something like that, which would be quite interesting because Charlotte's four foot eleven. So yeah, that'd be quite funny. But like turn over, and yeah, so it's like <laughs> yeah, I'd probably change my height. What made you decide to make your YouTube channel? Right, this is quite interesting actually, um, well, I think it is. Um, I watch a load of YouTubers anyway, like um, people like Jack Zepsky, Markiplier, and stuff like that, I watch quite a few YouTubers myself, so um, what I really, the amount of, uh, they did a load of like Q&As and like uh, reading comments and everything, there was um, some people say like how much they've, how much these YouTubers have helped them you know, overcome stuff, like depression and stuff like that, and um, how it's like a happy place for them to go. And that's kind of what I want to do. What I want to do is just make videos to make people happy, make people laugh, because I know there's a lot of people out there that just need something to kind of keep them going. I kind of want to be that person. I want to be like, I want to have an impact on their life that makes them want to, you know, like, be a lot happier than they are at the minute. That's what I want to do. That's, that's why I made my channel, just to help people out. Three objects you treasure now. Are these things I own? Um, my phone. I like, I like my phone, so that's going to be one. If, if I had a fire, I'd shave my phone. Um, what else do I treasure? What else do I treasure? I say my PC. I treasure my PC, but I won't be able to lift that out in a fire. <laughs> but because um, it was expensive, so I do treasure that. And... Last thing I treasure. I'm trying to think now. What do I actually treasure? So it's an object. So I can't have family members. Because I treasure all my family members. So um, an object. I don't know. My my Xbox. I guess. I like how, how all of these like materialistic things. My phone, my laptop, my, my phone, my PC, my Xbox. So it's, um, yeah, that's three objects. So yeah, I guess I'm materialistic in a way. Anyway. Where is your favourite place and why? Yeah, my favourite place has got to be up there that I mentioned earlier because of the reason that that's my and Charlotte's place and that's my favourite place to go anyway because it's really, it's really nice. I like it. Name a quote or phrase you would live by and why. Okay. There is a quote that I really like. I'm not sure if you can live by it, but I guess you can if I explain it. The quote that I like is, 
don't worry about those who talk behind your back because they're behind you for a reason. I really like that quote. That's actually, I guess it's kind of saying the people that are kind of making fun of you and take the mick out of you um, for anything you do, they're behind you. So I mean like, that means that you're just one step ahead of them in a way because you're actually enjoying what you're doing or moving on in life rather than they're, you know, stuck making fun of people, which is stupid. But um, yeah, that's pretty quite I live by, so don't worry about those who talk behind your back because they're behind you for a reason. Yeah. Best memory of 2015. <laughs> right. Well, one, well, I've got two memories that I really like. Can I choose two? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose two. Okay, two. The first one is getting engaged. That's definitely one of my best memories. It's absolutely so happy. It's literally the best thing I've ever done in my life. And the second best memory was when I went to Ibiza with my brother and Dan. Now that, that was fun. That was fun. I'd recommend it to anyone. It's like absolutely awesome. It's definitely one of the best memories of my life as well. So, well, 2015. Yeah. So, I'd pick those two. But if I could pick just one, I don't know. I can't. They're both as fun. <laughs> oh, similar question. Why did you get engaged to your girlfriend and when are you getting married? Well. Um, I've answered the engaged part. When are we getting married? Well, basically, what we were thinking is hopefully in a few years' time because we want to have time to save up for it and plan and everything like that. But it's not going to be one of those things where it's like 10 years in the future. So it's going to be at some point soon. But we're just in the process of saving money up and planning it a bit more and everything. So we had a bit all sorted. What's the best advice you've ever received? I think the best result. <laughs> The best advice I've ever got is simply just not to kind of dwell on things that people say as much. Then there's always going to be those people that say shit about you and, you know, try and make you try and make you stop doing what you enjoy doing and take the piss out of you and stuff like that. I mean, there's always going to be those people that do that. So I think don't dwell on things people say is one of the uh, best advice things that I've ever been given. Because I used to take into account all the time and I always used to like overthink things and everything. People used to say a lot of stuff like, wait, am I really like that? And stuff like that, but as long as you stop, like, thinking about it as much, you just kind of go, eh, okay, you think that about me, I don't really care that much. I mean, then you're a lot happier, like me. Are you good at swimming? Well, I would hope so, considering I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> if I wasn't good at swimming, I don't think I could save anyone's life. I, I guess you guys probably wouldn't know that I'm a lifeguard. Yeah, I'm a lifeguard. Yeah, okay. And a dancer, just in case you didn't know that. Um, but yeah, so I have to be good at swimming anyway. Uh, okay, so that's all the questions. That does it for this Q&A. Well, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. Wait a sec, I'm, gonna, I'm not done yet. Um, <laughs> I, I know, I realised that one of my friends had told me they tried to ask me like a bizarre question and they couldn't because they had to have an Ask FM account or something like that. I mean, it's really easy to set up. You can just use your Facebook profile and stuff and you can just ask anonymous, anonymously like these people have done. But, um, <clears throat> so if you, I really want you to ask more questions like this, because I really like doing this, it's fun. And, and bizarre, I don't really care how stupid they are, I just answer them anyway. So if you think of any questions, then make an Ask FM account, um, I'll leave the link in the description as well. And then, you can just go to that and ask me a question if you like. Anyway, so, um, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, if you want to see more like this, then subscribe. But, for now, I'll see you later.